Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the previous year coding questions which were asked in TCS Ninja to TCS Digital Upgrade Exam. This is part four of this series. Part one, two, and three have already been uploaded on my channel. So make sure that after watching this video, you watch those videos as well because the exam is near. It is on twenty second March two thousand twenty three. So make sure that you do not miss any of these uh, videos that I have uploaded. I will give you that link of the playlist that I have made separately for this particular uh, part only. So I will give you the link in the i button as well as in the description box. Make sure to visit it. And guys, from tomorrow, a lot of videos I will be posting regarding the same. So make sure to subscribe that uh, channel and to hit that like button. Okay. So let's start this video. And before starting the video, I would like to tell you that we have started a MySQL video series also on our channel. So if you are interested in learning MySQL, you can follow that series. Okay, so now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like button, guys. Before moving forward, let's just quickly talk about the Next Level by An Academy. It is India's gaming-based hiring platform. Next Level has come up with a new product that is an AI-powered resume builder. Next Level's resume builder utilizes cutting-edge AI technology to help you create a polished, professional-looking resume in just minutes. It's easy to use, and you can customize the resume for a wide range of professions and job titles. Like you can see on screen, you can simply click on simple prompts and the resume will get auto fill. Okay, trust me, it's that easy. No more spending hours trying to figure out the right words to use for the perfect format to follow. Next Level's Resume Builder gives you the edge over the other applicants. You can fill this resume automatically within three to five minutes. For example, if you are a business development professional who is also open to relation roles. You can create both resume by just entering a single prompt. It's very easy. So if you are looking for a platform to help you building the world-class resume and land your dream job, then Next Level is for you. And guys, remember one thing that this resume builder will only work on the laptop or desktop. The links are given in the description box. Go and check your for yourself. Okay, so guys, first of all, we will be discussing the questions. Then I will be discussing the approach of this question, and then finally we will be moving towards the coding part of this question. Okay, so question here is given a list A of integer numbers that have values coming from set zero, one, two. The task is to is to uh, deliver as out uh, deliver the output as one one zero zero two two. All ones first, then all zeros, and then twos at the last. For example, list. Contains zero two one zero one two. Okay, but our output should be all the ones that are coming in that list should be first, then the zeros, then the twos. Okay, so in simple words, we will be given given an array of uh, the size is given as less than equal to hundred size. The those elements will either be zero or one or two, and our output should be in the in a particular form that is all ones first. Then all zeros and then all twos. Okay, so I hope now this thing is clear to you. Let's just move forward. Uh, here you can see that uh, input is first value will be size of the array that how many elements the array contains. Next n line contains value from above set. Okay, uh, there will be n values in different different combinations zero zero one or two. Okay, output will contain all one first, then all zeros, then twos. Okay, so no matter uh, how the input is arranged. Our output should be arranged in a particular manner. That is all one first, then all zeros, then all twos. Okay, so let's just see the first input. First input is that six is here is the size of the array. Then there are six elements in the array: zero, zero, one, two, two, zero. Okay, so now we will have to give an output in a standard manner. That is all ones first, then zeros, then twos. So here, how many one, uh, ones are there? So only single one is there. Then therefore, single one is at the starting. Then three zeros are there inside this array, so then three zeros we have printed, and then finally two twos are here in the array, so two, so two twos we have printed at the last. Okay, so I hope this example is clear to you. Let's move towards the next example. Uh, it is again the size of the array is five first. Okay, five is the size of the array. Then the elements are four ones are there, and then two is there. So in this case also a standard will be followed that all the ones will be displayed first. There are four ones. We have displayed it first. Then zero should be displayed. But since there are no zeros in the input array, no zero will be displayed here. And then finally, all the twos inside the array should be displayed. Since there is only one two, therefore only single two has been displayed here. Okay. So this was the entire question. It is very simple. So you will be lucky if you face similar type of questions in your exam. Okay. 
so i hope now the question is clear to you let's just quickly move towards the approach of this question how we will be solving this question uh, let's just uh, take example uh, sample input as 0 then 0 then 1 then 2 and then 1 so this is our example so what we'll do okay what we will do we will take three variables let's just say count 1 initialize with 0 we will take count 2 initialize with 0 we will take count 3 initialize it with 0 okay now oh sorry just it should be count 0 it should be count 1 it should be count 2 okay so these are three variables we have taken and we have initialized their values as 0 okay so what we'll do we will uh, we will start uh, start traversing this array so first we have got our first we have got 0 so this count 0 is a variable that will store the values or value of 0 that is the count 0 variable will store the number of zeros that are present in this array so once we have encountered 0 we will simply increment this value of this variable by 1 then this again this is also 0 again we will increment the value of 0 by 1 it will become 2 then we have encountered 1 then we will uh, increment the value of this variable of count 1 by 1 then we have received 2 we will increment the value of count 2 by 1 it will become 1 then finally we have 1 we will again increment the value of count 1 by 1 that will become 2 only so now we have got that there are two zeros which are present two ones that are present and one two is present inside the array so now what we'll do we'll simply print the uh, we'll simply print the number of ones first then number of zeros and then number of twos okay so i hope now the approach is also clear to you it will become more clear once you'll see the code but one thing i want to tell you that see many of you will say that this is not the optimized way of doing this question there are a lot of optimal ways that are present on the internet regarding this question you will say like this but guys again i want to tell you one thing the optimal way we should always look out for whenever we are doing any exam okay so in exam there is a there is a specific time that is given to you to us if we will look for the optimal ways then we will we will have to give a more time to a particular question okay so here see here is in this particular question it is mentioned that maximum size of the input array will be less than or equivalent to 100 so it means that if you are writing your uh, solution in o n square also o n cube also o n 4 also then also your code will pass all the test cases so if you want to write the optimal code just look out for the test uh, just look out for the constraints if the constraints are high then obviously you will have to write the code for you will have to write the optimal code but if the constraints are less so don't waste your time in writing the optimal code if you know the brute force solution also just write it so that it will pass it as cases and you can simply move on to the next question this is simply valid for the exams in which there, there is a time limit on doing the coding questions but in interviews again optimal solutions are preferred but as of now for exam purpose just go for your brute force if the constraints are less if the constraints are very high then look for the optimal solution okay so i hope now the entire thing is clear to you let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this particular question okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code let's just quickly see the code line by line so we will take n as input because the size of the array we will simply uh, take n as input then we will declare the array and then we will use a for loop to take all the values as input in the array okay then we will declare three variables as i have told you count 0 count 1 count 2 or count a count b count c count a will contain the number of zeros which are present count b will contain the number of ones which are present and count c will contain the number of twos that are present then what we'll do we'll simply iterate over our input array if the current element is zero we will update the value of count a if the current element is one we will update the value of count b if the current uh, uh, value is two we will update the value of count c okay now once we have traversed this loop now we know that how many zeros are present how many ones are present and how many twos are present inside our input array so now our task is very simple we'll simply have to print first we will have to print ones then we'll print zeros then we'll print two so since count b contains the value of one we will we will iterate over this count b variable and we will simply see out one then count a contains the value number of zeros that are present we'll simply iterate over the count a and then we'll simply print c out zero okay then we know that we have to print 2 and count c now contain the number of 2s that are present we will simply iterate over the array oh we will simply iterate over count c and we will do c out 2 ok so after this uh, after this all the 1s, 0s and 2s will be printed 
let's just quickly see on the input what we have got so this is the input 5 is the length of the array 4 ones and then 2 let's just run it <coughs> okay so you can see that all ones have been printed then there was no zero therefore no zero was printed and then 2 was printed so this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you so kindly guys so this was all for this video and kindly guys hit that subscribe button as well as the like button for this video and do share this video among your friend because the exam is on 22nd March and only a week is remaining. So be prepared and do watch all the videos that I have uploaded on this channel. Thank you for watching this video.